Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome host. My name is Deja. So today I create a very simple, very easy makeup look where we're not cutting the crease. We're just going to do something that is simple, quick, and to the point, easy to follow along. So if y'all want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so the palette that we're going to play with today is the Morphe & James Charles palette because it is right here, so why not use it? And I think I'm primarily going to stick to using these two shadows, and I might play with this shimmer or one of these two shimmers here because this look today is just going to be super simple. So first, to start off, I'm going to start off with that. Um, <clears throat> actually, I lied. Okay, for, okay. I'm changing one of the colors so i'm gonna play with this around here and this one because y'all know what like i said this look is gonna be super simple and we just let's get to the point so i'm gonna take my morphe m506 brush voila and i'm gonna start off with that smaller pan it actually looks like it has more of a, um, a pink tinge to it Oh yeah, this will work just fine. I'm gonna start off with building this up in the corner of my eye. I'll build it up here, then I'll take and start to sweep it throughout the crease. I'm gonna go into that larger pan and use that brown to help deepen this up a little bit. So just going back and forth between those two shadows until I get the depth that I'm looking for. For those of you out there that record makeup videos, do you like to do your makeup in the morning, like record your videos in the morning, or do you prefer to do it in the afternoon or the evening? When I'm doing my makeup in the morning, I just feel like there's something about just a fresh face. Like, you just wash your face, you hydrate, you're looking smooth, you're looking rested, but still got a little bit of sleepiness in your eye. And it's just like, dang. My tie behind look good. And then of those two shadows, the lighter shade, I'm just gonna take my MAC 224 brush and put a little bit of that on there and just brush it on the top here. Just so that it transitions nicely. So when I tell y'all this look is gonna be super simple, I'm not gonna take a flat brush and spray it with some MAC Fix Plus. And Oh goodness, which shimmer do I want to go in with? I'm actually going to go in with the larger hand shimmer. So that's going to be this one. And I'm just going to use my flat brush to pack this onto my lid. Now there are some shadows in this palette that I just like have never touched. And I wonder, like, am I ever going to touch them? Probably not. Because I don't know the like that light yellow vanilla looking shade that's right next to the shimmer like i don't know what i would do with that honestly what value would it bring to a look i don't know so yeah we're not cutting the crease like i said we're just taking and packing the shimmer on for now then i am going to go in with a flat brush and kind of blow out the shimmer a little bit this look does not have to be very neat or anything at all just Pack that shimmer on there. So now just taking a fluffier blending brush and going in with the shadow, the shimmer, and just bringing it up. I mean, like I am definitely a shimmer girl. My sister is a matte girl when it comes to doing makeup. Look, I love me a nice shimmer. She prefers a matte look. But I have definitely gotten into doing matte makeup looks like. It grew on me, it took a while, but it finally did. So now I'm gonna take my NYX Professional Makeup Matte Liquid Liner and go ahead and do my line. I really do need to work on like getting a very thin line. Cause when I say thin, I really want a thin one, but it always comes out thick for some reason, so. I'm gonna try to go back and fix that with that shimmer if I can. I have my wings on, I would try to go back and fix that in a little bit, but um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and move on down to my face. And I'm gonna take my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and apply that. I'm gonna like limit the amount of product, especially I'll be putting on my forehead because my forehead is like no pores or anything. I mean, I know I have the pores, but they're very, very small. And so it's like really just my cheeks that need the product to help prevent the makeup from just sinking in my pores. So put just a tiny bit, whatever is left over my forehead, but that's pretty much it. Now for the foundation, I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Ambition. I'm in the shade FS420. And I'm sitting here and I realize like I do not have um, a damp beauty blender. So I don't know what to do right now. Cause I don't feel like getting up. Well, I guess I don't have a, a choice but to use a brush. Well, I mean, if I would get up and stop being lazy, but I'm not. Okay, so I applied a thin layer of this, but you can definitely build it up. So now I'm going to take my ColourPop concealer in um, the shade Deep Dark 52 and use this to highlight my face. So to blend in my concealer, I'm going to take this um, Japanese brush. I think this is actually um, a contouring brush. But I want to use this to just take and tap the concealer in, get it blended nicely. I like this ColourPop concealer and light. You can definitely make this full coverage if you want to, but I tend to go for medium coverage when I'm doing my makeup. What do you guys tend to like? My foundation and everything is just usually medium. I feel like I look weird with full coverage. That next brush is like everything. It came in a set of two and I got it from, from Marshalls. So, or no, actually it was TJ Maxx. So I'm gonna move on to my powder. I'm gonna use my Mar Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and this is the, the deep one and Just grabbing another fluffy brush from Wet n Wild. I'm gonna take and tap this on the areas that I highlighted. So I'm not spraying my face just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette and take that shape Sculpt and Use that to bronze up, carve out all that jazz. But since I got my hair down, like I don't have much forehead to work with, so. Okay, so next I'm gonna apply this blush and it is from um, Buxom. And it's the Wanderlust Primer, Wanderlust Primer Infuse, Infused Blush, Jesus, in the shade Goa. So I'm just gonna take one of these dirty brushes that I just used and just start tapping some of this. On. Like their blushes are really pigmented and they do have um, like a bit of a highlighting effect in there as well. So to highlight, I'm actually just gonna take the shade that I applied on my eyes and use that, if I can get some on this brush, use that as my highlighter. Did this in my other video. It came out really freaking good. I love the way that it looks like. And then I'm gonna use my finger to apply some down the bridge of my nose. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the lashes. So the lashes that I'm gonna be using today are from House of Lashes. They are in the style Iconic. So let me put some glue on it. Oh, hold on. That's eyeliner. While my glue is getting tacky, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my lips. Now, I don't even know why I actually, y'all already know that I use one lip liner unless I pluck my NYX. I can't find it right now, but it's the BFF4 Lippy Pencil um, from ColourPop. So let me do that, let me line girl. Lipstick is gonna come from ColourPop and it is the shade Starling. I think my favorite thing about doing my makeup um, 
besides like getting creative with an eye look is popping on my lashes because you just know like the lashes is gonna bring the look completely together all right you guys so now to lock everything in a place i'm gonna take my urban decay all nighter setting spray lock it all in Girl, let me go fix my hair and stuff. I'll be back. All right, you guys. So I am back. This is the final look. I look cute. Yeah. Oh, you cute. So I wanted to just do a look that was super simple. You know what I'm saying? For people that don't do makeup like that, it can be kind of tough, girl. So this, very, very easy. You ain't got to worry about cutting the crease or anything. Just go ahead. Throw you on some shimmer and two of the eyeshadows, girl, and it will all come together. So what do y'all think about it? Let me know in the comment box down below if y'all want to see more simple looks like this. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.